bugs, they should be able to walk into your home tomorrow. Take your temperature. If you have COVID, they will be able to diagnose that and be able to tell you now you need to go to a hospital. If it was probably just a small headache, they will be able to administer paracetamols because they are trained for that. They will be able to measure your blood pressure. They will be able to measure your blood sugar. And that way they will be able to offer you proper advice, medical advice, on what kind of service you need to seek and from what facility, Honorable Speaker. And that brings us now to the primary health care fund that will now come in and take care of you at the primary health facilities level. And that, if you are a member of this fund, Honorable Speaker, you need not worry about the bills. They will be sorted out. Honorable Speaker, part four of the bill speaks to the creation. Honorable Speaker, if you can protect me from the member for Konoin, Brighton, Yagon, and the member for Bomet Central, who are behaving like we are in sort technical. And you could hear the way they are laughing, Honorable Speaker, like they are in a classroom in sort technical. <laughs> I hear they are discussing the transformation of Pona Botoso. <laughs> but you must protect the Honorable Botoso from the Honorable Brighton and the Honorable Kipiagon. And especially from that uh, laughter by Honorable Brighton here. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I wanted them to listen. Because if you go to Met County, Longisa Hospital, there are many patients there who ought not to have been referred to Longisa, taking up bed space if they had accessible and affordable primary health care. And that is why I needed the members from Bomet County to listen. Honorable Speaker, I was saying in part four, the Social Health Insurance Fund is being established under part four of this bill. And this fund, Honorable Speaker, is what will basically take up most of the work that now was under what is NHF, as we know it, Honorable Speaker. If you go to part five of the bill, Honorable Speaker, it creates what I've already spoken to, the Emergency, Chronic, and Critical Illnesses Fund. Honorable Speaker, I have said, and I've mentioned uh, uh, there before, Honorable Speaker, that this fund, Honorable Speaker, is what has made many families across our country destitute. Every weekend, Honorable Speaker. And indeed, nowadays, previously it was every weekend when we went home and you had to deal with cards, fundraiser cards dropped in your constituency office. Nowadays, all these members of parliament will tell you, 